I'm here at the Gartner Show with um, Andy Ingram from Juniper Networks. Let's start with an overview. Um, what's the 30,000 foot view of Juniper Networks and how you help your clients? Well, I think when we look at the data center, the show's about data center. And the data center needs to get to the next place. We want to be able to build data centers that are pools of resources that we can share across different applications and users and so forth. And if there's one thing that's probably inhibiting making that happen, it's the network. Why? Right? Because the network c connects all the pieces together. And if the network doesn't scale better, if the network's not simpler, then we're not going to be able to get that promise of the virtualized data center, the big pools of resources, where things are easy to provision, deploy, to change, they're elastic. All those benefits, we have to change the foundation. And so what are we after at Juniper? We believe that we can help change that foundation fundamentally. So what's new? What are the new approaches that you're taking to, to make those changes? Well, it starts with the architecture. Today's architecture is a tree structure. And trees are really good in your garden, but I wouldn't put them in your data center. It inhibits the ability to get that sort of flat uh, connectivity that you really want as you build a fabric that connects everything in the data center. So we're going to go from this tree structure and flatten it down to a fabric where everything is connected to everything else in a very simple, very fast type of interconnect designed specifically for data centers. So it's an architectural change first and foremost. Flatten it first, and then what enables that to work is just great technology. This is what we're good at at Juniper, is networking technology, bringing that to get a network that is faster, simpler, and it actually costs less. But more importantly, it allows a better user experience from the application standpoint and a lower cost of delivering those application services. So you used the word fabric computing in your presentation, and you just used it. Can you dive a little deeper into how is Juniper defining fabric computing? Okay. So fabric computing is a term that I just learned today at the show here uh, at Gartner. And it really comes down to the concept that you have pools of resources in the data center. These could be compute, memory, storage, networking resources. Uh, it could be firewalls, load balancers, all different types of devices and you want to connect it together. And the, kind of, the word that they've been using is fabric, which is interesting, it's exactly the same word that we're using. Now, coming out of the networking world, we're very pedantic about what a switch or network fabric looks like, but our concept is exactly what George Weiss at, at Gardner was talking about today when he talked about this, this fabric computing concept. So we're building that infrastructure, that interconnect, that enables fabric computing to be built on top of it, and enables that new, modern, great data center everybody's talking about. And how is it differentiated from cloud computing? And there's a lot of definitions out there on cloud computing. Um. Well, you know, so I can use the, the term cloud to describe the same concept. At some point, clouds are just shared pools of resources. But cloud computing has, I think, evolved to have a meaning that I go to a public cloud and I get resources from there. So fabric computing is probably more uh, knowledge as to what we call private clouds or internal clouds, where I have a pool of resources that I own and operate and make them more efficient. So whether I'm an enterprise with my own data center or I'm a cloud provider providing infrastructure to other people, the concept's the same. Right? I'm building these pools of resources and I'm trying to drive things efficiently. And the traffic is occurring within the data center or within the well, network? Most traffic in a data center stays inside the data center. So the fabric needs to be able to connect this, whether it's servers talking to the storage, it's servers talking to other servers, it's things going to load balancers, it's that kind of traffic inside the data center that the data center fabric addresses. But you also then have traffic going from the data center to other data centers or out to the user community. And so that's another part extension of the network. But those aren't necessarily fabrics in the strictest definition of a fabric. Those are more like tree structures or typical type of wide area network topologies. So in 2011, Juniper has a new project called Stratus. Can you Correct. share a little bit about that? Well, we're not talking totally publicly about it, but the concept behind Stratus is building that fabric I've been talking about. That single fabric that's, that behaves as a single logical device. So I manage it as one giant switch yet it's physically distributed so that it can scale across the largest data centers you can imagine, and there's no single point of failure. So you get the benefit of the performance and simplicity of a single switch, but the scalability and resiliency you expect from a network implemented in the data center in the form of a fabric so it gets that connectivity of all those resources, and allows me then to have 
to not worry about what's called locality. If I want to deploy a new application, do I have to know where in my data center I have to deploy it, or can I just deploy it to the most available resource? And then I can move it if I need to move it. So that's a real fabric treats everything equally, and it eliminates the need for managing locality in the data center. And that's how you get that great efficiency, that great flexibility, the great elasticity that we're looking for. And in terms of low latency, I guess you have a lot of customers who are looking for increase the speed of their network traffic. Is the fabric kind, the kind of uh, approach so, they need? Again, fabric gives you faster and less expensive. Now, mm -hmm. on performance, there, we have a set of customers like trading floors, high performance computing, where latency is an obvious issue and the re the ROI for going faster is clear, right? And if I can go a little bit faster, I'm, it's worth making that investment. But actually, every application can benefit from better performance in the network. Because what's happening now is the basic memory hierarchy of a computer is now network connected or network extended. So what happens when there's a page fault? Well, I go onto, an, onto a network, either to storage or to a server or to a client to get that missing information. The time it takes to get it back has a complete impact on the behavior of that application because the application is in fact stalled, at least that transaction stalled, until the memory returns. So driving down latency in the data center is paramount to getting a better application experience. So where can uh, our readers uh, visit to find out more information about Juniper Networks? Well, sooner, clearly our website, juniper.net, has a lot of information on how we have our three-to-one architecture, helping customers go from three tiers of switching to two tiers today but ultimately to one tier with the Stratus project. And we have lots of information about that. We have testimonies from our customers who have done this and the benefits they've seen. We've seen customers that on average save 30, 35% in the network just by flattening it to two tiers today. And we'll take them the next step in the near future with Stratus. Great, thank you very much.